Hey everyone, this video is going to be a bit different from what I usually make because I just kind of want to show you what I've been up to. So I decided that I wanted to record a week of my life as a college student, more specifically, college of DuPage student. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Luis. I like making videos mostly for fun and entertainment, but once in a while I do make, or I will make videos like this. But yeah, hope you enjoy. So I start my Mondays off in the Culinary and Hospitality Center because I do plan to major in both culinary arts and hospitality management. Mostly because I want to learn how to cook, but also because I really love hotels and uh, tourism. Right now, I'm in my baking class, and today we're preparing bagel and flatbread dough. We did start off with the bagel dough, and we just had to make sure that it had the right gluten consistency. And after that, we could put it away and start on the flatbread. For the flatbread, we did have to cut up some herbs. Uh, you can see me chopping them right now, but we put them together with the dough, and then we set it aside. The last thing we did for class is the chef got us all together so that she can show us how exactly to shape the bagels for our next class on a Wednesday because we did not have any more time so we set everything away and we cleaned up and got ready to leave class but I got ready to you know continue the rest of my day <laughs> so the next thing I usually do is I go back to my car and get my longboard so I can ride all the way to the other side of campus <laughs> luckily for me today was a pretty nice looking day Usually it rains sometimes, but not today. So, as soon as I got to the building, I headed to the Phi Theta Kappa office. And if you don't know what Phi Theta Kappa is, it is the Honor Society of my college. And I have the privilege of being the president of our Honor Society. But yeah, this is our meeting time. And we all get together to, you know, discuss things that need to go on in our chapter. Right after the meeting, we actually had our first event of the year for Phi Theta Kappa, which is PTK Kickoff. So we went to the Student Life Lounge, set up a lot of different board games, had an informational table of what Phi Theta Kappa is, as well as uh, having some donuts and some apple cider around for the students to enjoy. Here are our wonderful advisors giving me a donut, some apple cider, and let me tell you, that donut tasted pretty good. So after the event ended, we then cleaned up and I headed out for the day. So the next day on Tuesday, I actually went to Jewel to buy a specific little treat, which you'll find out about later. But then I headed into the building and put the treat in the refrigerator and then head inside my Alter Ego Productions office. And if you don't know what Alter Ego Productions is, it is basically the organization on the campus that does events for the student body. Pretty cool. So, on Tuesdays, I usually have a Japanese class, and I actually forgot I had a test this day, but it's okay, I pulled through it, and, you know, right after I started doing some Japanese homework. And, you know, Japanese can be pretty hard, but once you learn it, it can be pretty rewarding. Like, for example, the Japanese language doesn't actually have the letter L in it, so my name Luis turns into Ruiz. But yeah, that's a little fun fact for you. So, after my Japanese class, I then head out. So, Wednesday. Again, I have my baking class, and like I mentioned the last time, we are making bagels and flatbreads. Again, we did start off with the bagel dough and we started scaling it as well as shaping it to the actual bagel shape. But once we finished all of them, we put them aside so that we can start working on the flatbreads. Here, you can see me scaling the flatbread, which was actually pretty tough, but our chef then did a demo to show us exactly how thin the dough was going to be as well as how we were going to cut it. And then after that, it was up to us to do the same exact thing but I don't know about you, or I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but rolling dough can be kind of stressful sometimes because it can just fight with you. But once it was the right consistency, we then laid it flat, put some oil on it, and then put it into the ovens. Then right after that, we started to boil the bagels and season them, and then we put those into the oven as well. After they were done, I then got my own little batch as well as some flatbread, and then I headed out for my next task. My Fight Data Cap advisors and I had made a reservation at the Wild Leaf Restaurant, which is a student-run restaurant in our college's culinary hospitality center. All the food is made by the students as well as served by the students, because although it doesn't seem like it, this is actually a classroom. And I have already taken most of the classes in this restaurant, and it has given me a lot of experience that eventually will help me in my career. So, this reservation does give me the option to eat a full course menu that does vary depending on what type of level the students are in. And generally, the menu does consist of a soup, salad, some bread, an entree, and a dessert, which I'm actually eating right now, and it was really good. You'll see by my face in a second. <laughs> so once we finished eating, I headed out and went back to my car to get my longboard, so I can go ahead and ride all the way down to the main part of the college. I was heading to the admissions office to drop off the bagels I had made in my class, because I am a student ambassador for the admissions office. But 
I'll talk about that later. I headed to the Alter Ego Productions office so that I can pick up a little something that you know I had left behind a while ago. And this is actually a little platter of a lot of different tiny little cakes because it was one of my producer's birthday and I wanted to bring in something to celebrate. And during this time we do have our meeting where we plan out events and things that we do plan to do in the future for the student body. And then we went outside and took a picture to market our college's new student orientation. So right after that, I then went over to my student ambassador office because like I mentioned before, I actually do work for the admissions office as a student ambassador captain. My role is to give tours, help out in any admissions events, train all the student ambassadors, and the most important thing, just be a student representative for the college whenever it is needed. Here I'm actually making calls to parents and students that have made reservations to be part of a tour. So once our student ambassadors have given the tours, we just get together and debrief a bit and then right after that, I head home. So Thursday. Thursdays, I usually go to the PTK office first thing in the morning and I work on anything that needs to be done for the PTK or Alter Ego. And then right after that, I have my Japanese class. So this specific Thursday actually had something very important to do as a student ambassador captain. So I grabbed one of our amplifiers and headed outside because the president of our college was actually having a dinner at the Waterleaf restaurant with some of his friends from another college and we had to head over there and wait for them to transfer them to another building on campus. We did have to wait for a couple of minutes but as soon as they finished their dinner they headed out and we went and took them to the health science center and here in a moment you'll see me waving to the president of the college see you later. So once our task was done I was then taken back to the main part of the college my mission representatives had to take the golf carts back and I headed down to the office to put away my amplifier. And of course my beautiful name tag as well had to put that back. So on Thursdays I'm actually at the college the whole day so I went and grabbed myself something to eat. So here I'm actually studying my menu for my next class, Advanced Restaurant Service, which focuses on teaching me advanced skills in restaurant management and restaurant service in general. And what exactly I'm doing is I'm looking over all the different ingredients in the menu to make sure I'm aware of everything that we are giving to the guests, just in case there's any allergies or diets. And also, by the way, this specific Thursday, we also had our first membership meeting of the year for our Fight Day Kappa chapter, which was a huge accomplishment because we did have a lot of members that joined and yeah, it turned out pretty great. So after the meeting, I got all my things together and headed over to the corner and hospitality center for my advanced service class. I went to my car, grabbed my uniform, chains, and then headed to the restaurant to help set up for service. We all got glassware and silverware, polished it all, and then we all had a chance to taste the menu of the day, which was pretty good, as you can tell by my face. <laughs> so I didn't actually record the service because I didn't want to record any of the guests, but it went well, or at least I think it did, but after that we all get together and debrief about service and we're able to head home. So Fridays. I don't actually have any class on Fridays, but I do come every week to you know do any work for AP, PTK, or any homework, or sometimes I just come to you know mess around like I, I'm doing right now. <laughs> but don't worry, I actually do do work. Like right now I'm taking a look at different vendors to see different movies, inflatables, or you know, different things that we can do for future events. Like these bumper cars that got me pretty excited. So this Friday, most of the Alter Ego producers actually got together and took on the task of going through our storage closet. We looked for any giveaway items, any merch, and just some random items that we did find in there. But we then looked through everything and gave ourselves some merch, and you know, it was it was a pretty good, pretty good finding. I then walked over to the PTK office with all of my merch in hand and had some cleaning to do. The first thing I did was wipe off our reminder for our first membership meeting and then I went ahead and cleaned some of our trophies but actually that was all, it wasn't actually too much. I then said bye to our beautiful PTK office and went over to the Starbucks to reward myself from this really busy week that I had and you know, the Starbucks drinks was actually really really good and again you'll see by my face which i've mentioned a lot of times <laughs> but yeah that was my week as a college student specifically at the college of the page but i do want to take these last moments to just show some appreciation for my college so the college of the page although it is a community college it surely doesn't feel that way there are a lot of things that i've come to appreciate about this amazing college like the beautiful scenery a lot of the different opportunities that I've had from this college as well as all the leadership opportunities but you know there's so much about this college that a lot of students don't know about like for example we do have our 
fitness center that a lot of students are aware of. We have a swimming pool. We have our Magnus Arts Center, our Student Life Lounge. We even have a World Trade Center beam. And this college just has a lot of opportunities for students to, you know, get hands-on experience, to travel the world, to get creative in a lot of different ways, and, you know, just provides you a lot of different resources for you to be successful. And that's something that I've, you know, come to appreciate a lot about this college. So, as I walk back to my car, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. I really enjoyed making this video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. So, if you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, just keep doing what you love to do because this is definitely something I love to do. And again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy.